Again, thank you XM Studio Thailand and Toys King for giving me the opportunity to review these pieces. Hello collectors and fan of Marvel Comics. I'm Art from Art Statue Collector and welcome to the last leg of the prototype review by XM Studios. There are four statues left to review and they are all from the X-Men line. So don't miss out on that. Today we'll be taking a look at one fourth scale Rogue. Anna Marie ran away from home at an early age from her controlling aunt. Her mutant power manifested for the first time when she kissed a boy and left him comatose. Eventually, she realized she could never have a normal life and accepted her role in Mystique's Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Later on, Xavier allowed her to join the X-Men team despite objections of the other members and became one of the most trusted X-Men. Rogue's contact can absorb memories, powers, personality traits, physical talents, and strength. The product size is estimated at 51 cm in height, 37 cm in length, and 30 cm in depth. She weighs about 9 kg. The base theme is set in the middle of the battle against Sentinel. Rogue is standing on top of Sentinel's wreckage as she is ripping away its parts. She has on a yellow and green X-Men costume with leather jacket over it. She is looking fierce with her hair blowing in the wind. This statue came with 3 switch out left arms and 2 head scopes. Even I don't collect the X-Men line, I kind of regret not pre-ordering Rogue. Having seen it in person, she is just stunning. I also own uh, Gambits at Home by XM Studios, and I think she would pair perfectly with him. Start at the base. It's a Sentinel base, just like every other X-Men in this line. The details and paint application are great. You can see a lot more damage to the Sentinel with this one. There are just so much going on here. They even include the wire in each of um, the electrical parts. I like the color of her costume. The bright yellow and green really gives that contrast from the base. The leather boots looks great. You can see all the structure and detail of it. And even the zipper. But it could have been a lot better here. Check out her jacket. This is very well done, just like Gambit's jacket. But even better, I think. It looks really good. I like these switch out arms the most. It's showing her strength as she is ripping away Sentinel. 
All right, the hand that is holding the Gambit's card is all right, but I'd rather have some power effect on this. And this is the Colossus and Wolverine switch out arm. I would rather just have the whole metal arm instead of the hand. Also, I prefer the Wolverine claw to be adamantium than the bone claw. I love this serious portrait. It really goes well with the battle scene here, as she means business. You can feel that stand her eyes too. The hair is very well detailed as well. I love the white color on the hair. I don't like the green portrait that much. I just think it doesn't fit with the scenario she is in. Don't get me wrong though, it's a really nice portrait, but I'd rather have in rage than smiling during the battle. All right, let's check out the size comparison with Psylocke. This Psylocke is actually a production piece. However, I did a prototype review of her a couple months back. You can go check it out. By the way, I think she looked exactly like the prototype, which I thought was already good. Okay, there are comments about a bad paint job of the ponytail portrait, which I check out and yeah, you can kind of see that paint is kind of sloppy at the hairline. Other than that, I think it's a beautiful piece. Overall, I love it. I might have to pick her up once the product starts shipping. But what do you guys think about this work prototype? Share me your thought down in the comment and I will see you on the next review. Peace.